Welcome to Ballin' with Brett, your inside look at Ole Miss women's hoops. Here's your host, Brett Ball. Thank you for tuning in. They say behind every good team, there's a great support staff. And I have the pleasure of showing you the inside look of how our managers help prepare our women's basketball program for success. Where was you today? You left me hanging. We were supposed to walk to the to class, and this is how you treat me. I'm joined now by Junior Jalen Powell, who's the head manager. So Jalen, can you tell us, give us an inside look of what the manager's daily duties are? Um, our daily duties mainly consist of just having the girls prepared at all times for success on the court, making sure that they have their practice stuff, their sneakers, ankle braces, whatever they may need. What would you say would be the key into making sure everything runs efficiently? Always being organized, making sure you have your stuff done a week, two weeks in advance, checklist, you know, just always staying on top of everything, not, not ever slipping up. I usually make a, a checklist of what to pack and what I have packed already, so that way it's a little bit less paranoia for me because i got to make a lot of stuff. I'm now joined by freshman Drake Flowers to tell us a little bit how your managerial experience has been thus far and what are your daily duties. My duties kind of range depending on what we're really doing that day. I'm responsible for if Coach Matt needs his board or a marker, you know, to draw something up during practice, I do that. Um, and then I also make sure if there's any wet spots for floor, you know, we mop those up and just kind of making sure that everything's in place for the next drill to come so that coaches aren't having to wait. Can you talk about your relationship with the players beyond, you know, your managerial duties? I think some people, like, misinterpret the word manager. You know, you're around the girls every day, 24-7, game day, practice, good days, bad days. So your relationships really just drive off that. Some, some girls need someone else to confide in besides coaches or family, so being a manager is more than just basketball. You develop these relationships and you become mentors, friends, sisters, whatever the case may be, so I think that's where that comes in. We know Drake works closely with you, especially when we're on the road. How have you guys' relationship evolved over the course of the season? Uh, Drake's more like my partner in crime, so we kind of do everything together. We have both the same visions and same feelings about basketball, so I think that's where we really match and gel and get along really good. Drake's really smart and, you know, really knows his X's and O's, so I learn from him and he learned from me. You talked about Jalen um, when we talked there earlier. What What is your guys' relationship like? So it's been nice to, my, especially with my first year, be able to roll in immediately and find somebody who who I can help and make sure that I feel beneficial to the team, but also kind of have a good friendship with that may, will most likely last you know, after this is all over. You talked a little bit about the family tree. Now, I think you said Bretta started this family tree. Can yeah. you explain how the family tree works? Okay, well, Bretta is Shaq's mother, and Bretta is my sister, so that makes Shaq my niece. And I have two children, Sandrika and Queen. There's my other daughter. These are my two daughters. Yep. And my mama this right my here. Mama. My mama. <laughs> and my mama. sister right here. This is your what? Jordan. My breast. Your breast. My mama, she taught me everything yep. I know on um, and also for you. Yes. And I just try to so look up to my big sister, you know, I'm trying to get all my moves from her. I be watching her, you know. I'm trying to get all my and Queen is just single, dolo, have no kids. And then Sandrika doesn't have children, but out of nowhere she kind of has grandkids. I don't know where those came from, but her grandkids are Alyssa and Medina. So those are my great grandkids. And then we have Kier, who's the neighbor. And they're they they're uh, great kids, and I have to ride the bikes <laughs> on the sidewalk. <laughs> yeah, no, you can't go on the street, so you try to get in my grave. I don't want to see <laughs> Everybody else is still trying to find their place within the community and the family, so we'll see how that ends up by the end of the season. Well, Jalen, thank you so much for you for all that you do for our program, and I've enjoyed hanging around with you and you showing me the ropes as well. Thank you guys for tuning in. Until next time, Heidi Tidy. For more information on women's hoops, follow the Rebels on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.